So there isn't too many videos on the internet showing you what's inside the canopy camper. And it's really cold right now, so we're gonna show you and give you a little bit of tour and we're just gonna stay in there. All right, let's open her up. So here we are. This is home for the night, right buddy? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna close the door. And close the latch. We are inside an Alucab canopy camper in West Virginia, somewhere around Barton Knob, I think. It's 25 degrees outside, 20 mile an hour winds, and there's about three inches of snow on the ground. We'll show you that in just a minute. We figured we'd give you a tour inside this thing since we're borrowing it from OK for World Drive for a couple weeks. What are you doing? Watching the iPad. Because mommy said I could. I don't know about that. This bed lifts up. And if you turn around, this bed is already up. I've been underneath that the whole time. But when you're ready to go to bed, you can lower the bed platform, lower this, and you've got like nine feet of sleeping space. I could be wrong on a few inches, but um, right now I'm standing up and my arm is raised up the top and I can't even touch it. And it's another eight to 10 inches above me and I'm five foot 10. Pretty sure this um, camper was made for little humans because Catcher is like the perfect size to climb underneath and over everything. And he can climb up top. So let's show everybody how you do that. Oh, oh no, you got it. I'll help you if you need it, but I think you got it. Okay, on the cooler. On, oh, maybe not. Nice work. Nice work, high five. Um, these are the windows. Unzip it and then I'm gonna close it back. Yeah, so we can show everybody what it looks like outside maybe. A little, a little snowy out there, beautiful view. All right, yeah, so we've got little reading lights. We've got them on. We're actually running on solar right now, so we're just kind of using up, you know, some power just for the hell of it. Um, there's actually charging ports down here, which is pretty cool, too. Um, and those are on, on both sides. A window here behind us. But, yeah, this is, this is the second story of the Canopy Camper. Catcher's been a really good boy the whole way up here, so... I'd give him 15 minutes or so playing iPad. Uh, let's take you downstairs. Um, this unit has a hookup for a fridge, but we're just out for one night, so I bought my brought my Engel dry box with us. Um, we've got some of his his um, belongings here. His bag full of warm clothes, Cheerios is a must, and water. Um, over here we've got a camera case. Um, more storage on the back. As you can see, I'm running a space heater. We're only going to run it for 10 minutes, and that's all it takes to, to heat this place up. And then we're going to kick it off because it's probably not a good idea to be running it um, very much. And it's already about 60 degrees in here. So I got water back here. When I transported everything, I just transported it into the floor down here. Um, but these are the Goose Gear um, utility boxes and door modules, which is pretty cool. Try to open those up, show you. I've kind of packed some of my stuff in here real quick this morning, just to kind of get a feel for this camper um, on this little adventure that we're doing. But we got a drawer there, one down here, and then we've got a drawer underneath me and underneath that as well. These utility boxes, there's actually clips that pop these open and these lids remove, and I believe they're reversible too, so if you want to access from the outside, you can put the hinges towards the outside or the buckles to the outside. Like I said, we're running on solar and uh, this is Victron Energy monitor here. Um, the charge controller and all that stuff is actually in there too. So it all dresses up pretty nice. Here on the door, more storage. Behind me, more storage here as well too. Over there. And I'm, I'm using a Blue Ridge Overland Gear Trail Creeper. It's actually really nice. It's waterproof. One side's poly and one side's nylon. Um, it's got some padding to it. It makes for a, ni a nice little floor to rest your feet on. But uh, yeah, so that's a look inside the Audi Cab Canopy Camper fitted to this OK four-wheel drive Toyota Tacoma. Thanks for watching.